All right, hey there. This is uh, Chris Withers with Chris Withers Photography, and this is just going to be a brief unboxing of the Pocket Wizard Plus 2, along with a demonstration of how to get one to work on a 580EX2 flash. Now let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to unbox this. This is a brand new one that I bought recently. Um, just to have extras, it's never a bad thing to have extras. So let's go ahead and show you what comes out of this real quick. Um, as you saw, the batteries kind of fell out right away. Um, they give you two brand new Energizer batteries with these, along with a PC sync cord, which generally it works with a 580EX2 flash, but um, it is a little, uh, it's a little loose whenever you try to plug it into the flash and it's kind of um, it doesn't really have that secure kind of attached feeling and when you're working with it connected to a monopod uh, it has a tendency to uh, kind of come out sometimes so uh, generally I won't use these uh, so it also comes with a strap this strap here is um, just for kind of keeping it from falling in certain situations so we got the batteries, the strap, and the cord so far. Now, here is the uh, pocket wizard. We'll get to that in a second. It also comes with a manual, which I suggest you read at least one time just to get a clear understanding of all the features that it offers. Um, I'll let you go ahead and do that at your leisure. Uh, and here we go. Here's a pocket wizard. Now, you're going to need two of these in order to use your flash. So, uh, if, you want to have, if you want to get your uh, flash off camera and uh, have a remote trigger, you're going to want to have two of these um, at any given time. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you a demonstration on how you can go ahead and start doing that. But before I do, I want to go ahead and show you this uh, package here. This is the cord you can order. Uh, I got mine from B&H Photo. Uh, you can get yours wherever you wish. Uh, it's called the PC5N cord. And basically, it's like the other sync cord, but this one will fit better. This one's going to fit better on your uh, 580EX2 flash on the Canon. So let's go ahead and take this out real quick. And as you can see, it's it's... It's a lot longer than the uh, original cord that they give you with the Pocket Wizard. So let me go ahead and move this stuff real quick. And what we're going to do is, here's a 580 EX2 flash. On the left side of the 580 EX2 flash, you're going to see the little pop-up uh, protector shield that kind of comes up. And what you're going to do with that is you're going to want to take this end here and you're going to want to connect that. So let's go ahead and do that carefully. And then just screw it on until it's snugly fastened. You don't have to go super tight, but just make sure it's connected securely. All right. Now that that and is connected, what we're going to do is we're going to take our pocket wizard and we're going to plug it into the port that says flash just like so. Now we're going to want to make sure that this is on local and this one's on remote and make sure that they're both on. Now that we know they're both on, go ahead and turn on your flash I like to have mine set on manual and you just do that by hidden mode until it goes to the M here. So now that it's done that, it's ready to be um, sampled here. So let's go ahead and give it a sample real quick. There we go. We hit the test button and the flash fires. Let's go ahead and do that again, see if you can see it on video. And it flashed again. Now this is a pretty basic setup. You can also set up another pocket wizard. For example, I could take this along with another uh, flash and another cord, and um, I could have another 580EX2 flash firing, let's say, to be a, uh, a rim light or a fill light on the other side. So 
This is just to give you a brief demonstration on what the Pocket Wizards are capable of and also the cord that you can get for the 580 EX2 Flash. I hope this tutorial helped. I'm Chris with Chris Withers Photography.